Pouches like this are great because they're so easy to find things. Hey guys, Brad here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a tool bag by Toolux. Now they sent this out to us to take a look at and that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna load up with some tools, show you all the different pouches, the different options and get a good sense of how this thing operates. So first off, we've got a small little tool pouch here. We've got an adjustable handle on it. It's on a bolt system, so it's pretty strong. This is all metal. I like how this folds out of the way. And we've got two D-rings up here. They give you a strap as well. The clips on here are all metal. And they've got a nice mechanism on them, so it's really easy to clip them on and off. We're gonna keep it off for now, just so it's out of my way while we're loading this sucker up. Now this has got a unique feature to it that I haven't seen on most tool bags, and that is this rain cover. This flips up out of the way, and you can actually take it off with a piece of Velcro on the back here. So it flips up out of the way, and you can pull it right off. Now inside we have an area for documents. So if you've got some blueprints, some drawings that you're working on, you can keep them in here and they're gonna be waterproof. I'm just gonna fold this up, stick it back here. So on the outside, we've got a small, thin, zippered pouch right here. You're not gonna be able to put too much in here, but you could definitely throw you know, your pencils in here, no problem. And then this part, zippered pouch, you could throw a phone in here easily. You could put pencils, you could put tape measures, Allen keys, notepads, whatever you want. On this side, we've got four pouches, three small ones and one big one. On the other side, we've got two big pouches with some elastic straps to hold some larger items in. And then on this front side, we've got two pouches here, two on this side, one in the back, and a Velcro area up front. Now for the inside. The inside, as you can see, this is very rigid doesn't want to collapse at all. The bottom's got a hard shell on it. And then we have one, two, three, four, five pouches in here for screwdrivers, pliers. We've got a place for a tape measure. And then along here, we've got three more larger pouches. So let's load this thing up. I've got a few tools here. Let's see how they fit. All right, for starters, let's do some of the bigger pliers. Let's see how these go. Tape measure, screwdrivers. So the screwdrivers seem to be going in very nicely. Lots of depth. I don't think they're gonna fall out. So they look great in here. Front, we got a pencil area. So the back, this might not be a great spot for pliers because they're kind of flopping forward. So let's stick them up front here, see how that looks. Now obviously it depends on the tools you have. So put some Allen keys in here. Throw a knife on the outside. I got a lot of whisk snips just because they're handy. Throw that in there. I got some stuff on the back. Easily take the drill bit case, that can go on the bottom. Okay, I got some more pliers. Let's throw some line pliers in there. Crescent wrench, we've got a level, some channel locks, some grips, pretty good. And we can throw Milwaukee Impact in the bottom. Got a Dovo laser, throw that in here. Still lots of room in the bottom. Stick a flashlight in here. DeWalt multi-tool, maybe a Milwaukee sander. As you can see, we still have lots of space on the other side. I haven't touched anything on this side. Holds up no problem. So as you can see, you can get a lot of tools in here. So this is great if you're a technician or if you've got tools like this and you wanna have specific tools for each job. There's so many different ways to organize tools, obviously. I've been organizing my tools in different fashions and manners for years and I feel like I'm never content. I'm always looking at something else, something new. But this has got really good material on it. It looks like it's gonna hold up well. It's very sturdy, like there's no, you know, collapsing of the compartments. These are all really nicely sewn together. You know, the stitching is really nice and tight. We've got metal connectors everywhere. The zippers seem like they're a really good quality. They're not gonna come apart. They flow really easily. 
So that's important. When I'm looking at a bag, I really want to look at something that's going to hold up and it's going to be the right size for the job that I need. It's going to hold everything that I need, obviously, but be able to hold some extra stuff too, because you never know when you need to bring an extra drill or a big flashlight or a multi-tool, something like that. I like bags like this or backpacks because they really do help protect your tools as opposed to just chucking them all into a toolbox. This really keeps everything from banging around. Not to mention it's all here. I can see the tops of everything, my screwdrivers, my pliers. So I know exactly what I need to grab, where it is. Pouches like this are great because they're so easy to find things. On the other side here, this pouch I'll say is also waterproof. So you could put some things in here that are sensitive, you know, maybe some markers or things like that that you don't want to get wet. But also let's throw the cover back on. So this just slides through here. Now I've got this pretty loaded up. Velcro's on. And I've got these pliers sticking up. Put them on the outside. They give you a little bit of extra length because they know that once you get your handles in here, you're going to need it. That's just to kind of keep, you know, if it's raining out, like spitting or whatever, obviously if it's a downpour, water is going to get in. But this is just kind of keep sawdust off your bag, a little bit of rain, you know, dirt, dust, all that kind of stuff. It's nice to keep it covered. Flop this open. You don't even have to use it if you don't want. And there's all your tools. All right, guys. So overall, I really like the Tool Lux bag. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I'd love to hear from you. Make sure you follow, subscribe, hit that notify bell, all that good stuff. Till next time, guys. Keep on crushing it, and we'll catch you later.